here we go. Wow, what is this thing? It's like a microwave. What can that do? Looks like a copy machine printer. So I don't need that? No. All right, we did get a few boxes. $30 worth of boxes. I know folks are gonna ask me, don't you get them shipped from Amazon or this or that? There's all different ways that we get packing supplies, but sometimes you don't have enough and you just have to run to Staples or Walmart, you know. And the first stop of the day is the Goodwill Donation Store here. Coming out. Who's coming out? I thought there was someone coming out oh. from the store. Okay. No, absolutely. Go right ahead. Look at this. It's 50 bucks, though. We're not going to get it. Johnny Astro. Explorer. Really flies. Oh, I've seen those on TV. Wow. Talk about old. Look, he's like me. He has hearing loss. <laughs> Look. I do that all the time. <laughs> Stick my hand behind my ear I, because I can't hear. I'm not joking. I do. What is this? Dr. Doolittle Animal Faces. Okay, we have animated children. What is that, Vinny? The Big Tot. Oh, that's cool. Big Tot what? Big Tot Wood It Circus. That's kind of oh, cool. Oh, Big actually. Top or Tot? Tot. Oh, Big Top. Yeah, like the Big Top Circus. That's kind of neat. That's from the 50s, maybe? Probably, yeah. That's 20 bucks. I like the, the box on it, but I don't know that anyone would want the... Yeah, I don't, I'm not good with old toys. I love them. This is really, this is really pretty. It's $10 and it is cut glass, leaded cut glass, American Brilliant. I think it's got, I think I have felt this before and it's got some teeth, teeth missing. I've got one tooth missing. So, I don't think I'll, yeah, that's got a big whack. And then here's this one amber piece. Not terribly old, but it's a little pedestal. That's kind of cute. And I can put that away for uh, the autumn season next year. I forget the maker of that. I should have that memorized, but it escapes me. I'll just keep looking around here through the clear glass, see what I can see. I know you're seeing a lot, so am I. So am I. Vanna White is a book. This ends my broadcast day. He's ignoring me. I'm so <laughs> Flip her around. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Is it expensive? No, five bucks. That's a steal. Get it, Vinny. Okay. I'll default to you. You're the company. Walk in here and tell me if it if if it something smells foul. Doesn't it stink? It smells like stale fish. <laughs> oh, it's nasty. Yeah, it's something. Nice. It's a little potent. Oh, it stinks. I gotta get out of here. Ugh, I don't know what it is. How about these? What's your opinion of these? What is that called? A dahlia? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not good with botany. Oh, there's hydrangea, yeah. I think. That's pretty for Easter. Oh, yeah. That's kind of nice. It's luster wear. It's a decal, but are they hydrangeas? I think so. Four dollars. There's another one down there. I like that, but I don't, I don't know. This is four dollars. What do you think on that? D would like it. Yeah, she would like that. Could give it to D. I don't know. It's red. Is it on sale? No. It's not a bad... You know what? I don't know. I'm going to buy that. Heck. Make up your mind. I think I just... I don't... It's just pretty, and I think for Easter, 
um, as a decorative. Yeah, I think so. I don't know about this one. That's more like, what would you do with it? It's almost like too small. But this one could be on the center of a table. Okay, I think I'll take that. All right, let's check out. Check out, 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 out the house. You know I'm filming you. I thought you were taking a picture. I told you to take a picture of me with this. Who are you gonna purchase that for? Me, myself, and I. Okay. Now, that's Vinny's, that's right up your speed. Right, right up your speed, right up your uh, street. Right up my alley. Up your alley. Look, 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 like I need another per percolator. But I found one, I'll show it to you when we get out in the car. It's a nice one. Yep. Sort of mid-30s. I'm happy about it. I'll show you later. It's the perfect thing for snack time. Gotta have a Wawa. Hi, New Jersey. It's Judy Franco here, and we all love a good combo, right? Well, the, the New Jersey Golf and Travel Show is February 9th through the 11th, so starting today. Shop, compare, and save on golf equipment. Yeah, go All right, we've hit the Goodwill store now that we left the uh, donut shop. Oh, look. I don't think I'll need those for my ride home. You want to see what he's looking at? I don't need them yet, Benny. Not yet. Either. Look at all the record. Did you see the record albums? I, I saw the 45s. Oh, oh, 45s, yeah. You know, I like record albums, but I don't always have time to... What's that, Loretta Lynn? Um, uh, I don't know. I guess I don't... I don't think too much about it. I'm not seeing anything I'm over the moon about in here. Oh, those Firestone Christmas albums. Wait, I better get up here, because he's going to get the good stuff. No lamps? Drat. This one's all Here's right. a Vera Bradley pocketbook. What is no, that? No, that looks like a cushion cover. A cushion for a seat? Yeah, or like the back of a, like the back rest. That's a big seat. That is, a, that's for a chair? Oh my gosh, baby got back. That is a big seat cover. Maybe he's right, maybe it goes over the back. Ooh. Now, let's see. All right. <clears throat> Nothing down? See, I'm, I'm walking down the aisle behind Vinny. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything or not. Well, I'll turn the camera back on when we find something wonderful. Fantastic. Now, the store is calling this an armoire, but it's actually an antique pie safe. And this probably dates to the late 1800s. 1880, 1890, maybe up into the turn of the century. And if we look at the side, we can see, see all the little pinholes? Yep. So we have the perforations here here and here and so this was meant for the kitchen and when you open this up of course you can see inside wonderful old wooden shelves and here are the shelves of course with the perforations to allow the air through but no bugs and then this way you could uh, put breads and pies and cakes and things in here and let them cool off and whatnot and the bugs won't get it only forty dollars girls and boys that is steal of the day and you know i'm going to leave it right here and hope somebody <laughs> comes and saves it i have absolutely no space it will not fit look at this old finish i can't put that in my kitchen it's not my era. 
It's got two drawers here. Look at this. Look at all of this wear. That's over a hundred years of granny going in and out. Absolutely fantastic. I didn't look in the bottom. Look at that. Can you believe it? $40 for this thing. Let me back up so you can see the whole thing. Uh, which way do I want to go? I guess. And then there's this side as well. What a wonderful piece. And you're going to flip over this black and pink thing. I'm trying not to make you dizzy. Where are you, Vinny? There it is. Look at that. That antique pie safe. Huh? Oh, he didn't hear me. Um, uh, I got to leave it. Can't do a thing with it. Oh, I wish I was still in an antique store. I need to get back in one. If I was still in an antique store, that would go right in the back of my truck. Now look at this. Oh my gosh, is this fantastic? If you're from this era. Yep. Black and pink with sliding glass doors. That's only $7.99. My goodness. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. Yeah, hey, look at this really neat 1940s Streamline Hoover vacuum cleaner. I love it. It's only $15. Of course, you know, I know you have to get bags for it. I'm old enough to remember these. Well, not this model, but look how streamlined the front of that is. See that? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing 1940s because of how streamlined it is. But, um... And it's been, it's, it's only $15 and it's been tested. That would be neat for like a, a second vacuum cleaner for down in the basement. You know, wouldn't have to cart a vacuum cleaner up and down, but I'm not, I'm just not going to do it. Um, look, look at these out in the car. All right. Vinny's around here somewhere. Look, who remembers these chairs? I have to put my party lights down. It's only $5. Oh my gosh. Who remembers these? And it would dry rot and somebody would sit on it and it would break and you'd go down to the floor. Wood frame. Oh my gosh. That's only five bucks. I should totally get that. Let me back up so you can see it. You could sit out in the backyard and swat mosquitoes. Look at that. That is so old. Mm, love it and then I'll show you these well you're seeing them now but these will be great for the autumn party lights and then I've got green glass down in here I'll show you I'll show it to you all right we're at a restore store I always say that and I, it's a that's what a double 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 I'm doubling it we are at a restore and um, for Habitat for Humanity is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. And you just never know. Hey, it's where I got my kitchen stove. Yep, I sure did. I sure did. Let's see. Kitchen tile. I love the restore. Now I just need to find a 1928 GE monitor top refrigerator. Look at that old, is that a toolbox or a box for a cat? 
a pet carrier? What? Over here, right here. Can you handle it, Vinny? Because my hands are full. That's a pet carrier, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, yes, it is. Look, there's a hole over here. Oh, there's a pet in it. Oh, there's a pet already inside of it. Oh. Woof. Huh, I wonder... Is that like from the 1960s or 50s or Probably. 40s? Probably. That's cool. I've never I seen know. That. I love that. How old is it? I mean, how much is it? Only eight bucks. Eight bucks. This oh, these prices are really good. Salem would be would have been furious if I had put him in something like that. The only way I could move him was to put him in swaddling clothes. He would let me move him that way, but he would not let me put him in a carrier. I know they say you're supposed to put the cat in a pillowcase gently and then you put him in, but no, I wasn't getting all scratched up. No. He he was not having that. But once if I wrapped him up like a like a baby in a in a blanket, I could take him anywhere. But cuz he felt okay with that. All right. Now this is the book department. Yeah, this I love this place. We're up in uh, Fairless. I think we're in Fairless Hills. We're on the old Lincoln Highway, I think. Uh, just north of Bristol. We are in Pennsylvania. We did cross over into Pennsylvania. Am I filming? Yes, I am. I love it when I'm walking around and I talk for five minutes and I have forgotten to press pl uh, record. Have you ever done that? Yeah, I've done that. I have too. Ooh, Moods for Love. Who's that? And then Johnny Rivers, Sarah Vaughn. All right. Then we still have like one, two, three, one, two, three more shops to hit before closing time. We should probably go then. Closing time. And it's already, I think, after four. Well, we better run now. All right, we'll... Let's, let's get out of here. Oh, show us your teapot. Oh, luster. Not my taste, but I'm sure someone would really like it. Yeah, that. which country was it made in? Uh, let's see. Germany, Czechoslovakia, Japan. Czechoslovakia. Uh, Czechoslovakia. Uh, Mapco P-A-L-T, and it looks like it's got some athlete. Shot put dude has the logo. Oh, I love it. And this looks very deco, but I do not know if it is. It's Lennox. Yeah, I don't, I have never bought or sold a piece of Lennox. Um, it's just not something that I deal in. So I don't, I don't know. I'll let you decide. Maybe I shouldn't because look, there's a chip on the handle. Well, I don't know. I, I like that it looks so 30s. It does. Yeah, I mean, as soon as I saw it, I said, oh, wow, that looks like a piece of, um, like, 1930s Cream X. Look it up and see. I want to look up the Lennox logos and see what they were. Oh, okay. Because that might be... Great. It has a wonderful look to it. It does. It reminds me of modern tone a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Ooh, Oh, nice legs. We've moved on to another shop. And I have eight plates by Ellie Smith. Collectors call this by Cracky uh, in amber. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an early depression glass pattern. In fact, I think this might have come out in the late 20s. Anyway, two times seven is 14. Am I happy to pay $14 for a set of eight? Yes, I am. Because I'm probably gonna keep these. I really wanna build up a full collection. And as you probably know, you can find these in green as well. It's just a pattern that um, I've always been attracted to and I've been putting it together. I've got a few of those plates at home, but now I at least know I have a full set of eight lunch and salad slash dessert plates in that particular pattern. I don't know that it came in any other colors. I don't remember ever seeing it in pink, but you know, I don't know. Amber and green, yes, yes. All right. 
This is another Goodwill store. Is where it is, or where we are right now. Okay. Type in steak on YouTube. S T A K E. Hey everybody, yeah, Vinny. S T A S T E A K. Vinny just got recognized. Someone, this young lady just walked up and said, "You look like a YouTuber." And of course, I said, "Oh, of course, I'm Scott from the old Curiosity Shop." And she said, "No, not you, him." <laughs> Just like him. I can see the resemblance. So vintage yeah. wave. <laughs> Have a good one. Wave. <laughs> this was great. I'm like, oh, thank you for recognizing me. Uh, no, sorry, Scott from the old Curio. You're not the only one. <laughs> How about that, Vinny? Look at this heater. Look at this art. Look at this like 1930s, 40s American streamline. It's like a skyscraper. I should just take it home as a piece of art. Oh no, it's eighty dollars. I don't need it that badly. What's it called? Florence. This is so neat. Look at the heater. Look. I am loving this thing. I don't care for the color of it. It's kind of blah. But what a great example of American streamlined design. Look back here. I love this. I wish it was, if it was cream and green, I would just take it. Cream and green, but no, it's it's kind of blah brown. That would go well down in your basement. So Vinny, how does it feel to be recognized? Good. And I was totally ignored. <laughs> Did you see this, what is this called, a shiffer robe? Yeah. Oh, that's real 30s looking yeah, too. I think it's awesome. Look at that. Very much so, yeah. I love Because you can hang. Blacks, the ties. Oh, I shirts, love it. Underwear. Do they even call it that back then? Or did they say like undergarments or something? No, men called it underwear. They called it underwear back then. Sundries. What are sundries? Sundries. Just various miscellaneous yeah, this is really cool. pieces think, of this and that. I think that's that. worth $80 in my opinion. Yeah, 80 bucks. That's nice. That's for a nice piece of furniture like this. I like it. If I had a truck. Hello, Queen Victoria. Up there in a nice old oak frame. Now let's see. Oh, there's an old Edison Ediphone for dictating, for dictation. Oh gosh, it's a voice recorder. Yes, this was for office use. And the, the wax cylinders would slide on the mandrel. And then the the boss, the boss man, and of course they were men in those days, pinch and dictate into that. Can you imagine? And then his voice is recorded on a cylinder and then the, uh, the secretary would sit at her desk and play it back. And then she could type up what the boss wanted to uh, have typed up on a memo or, or something like that. That's an old-fashioned uh, Ediphone made by Edison. You keep your extra cylinders in here. Yep, that's... haven't seen one of those. That's been sitting around in somebody's storage closet for a while. How about that? And then look at this nice 1930s, 20s kitchen clock here in porcelain. I can't see the price. It's a Miller and um, it's key wound. So no electric cord <clears throat> necessary. Usually those were for, uh, kitchen clocks wind it up. Oh, Vinny, are you ready to go? Still oh, they're wrapping, they're wrapping everything. Okay, we're in an antiques, antiques store. And then we both purchased something. And so I'm just doing a little filming while we're waiting before we exit the store. Let's see what's over here. What can we see? Oh, that's neat for your inkwell, for your desk on the right. Okay. I don't know what this gizmo is here. This doesn't look terribly old, but I'm not sure what that is. It's got a little vacuum type of a motor on it. What on earth is it? Well, it says, no idea. It's got a, 
It's got a fan, wires, and it's made of wood. Okay. Not sure what it is either. It, it, uh, it's, it looks like a homemade gizmo. Ooh, I'm out of focus. Huh. And then we'll move back here. And I see a beautiful old radio. Oh, and look at that. Doesn't that make your teeth hurt? Look at the old dentist drill right there. Mm -hmm. See that? Our dentist uh, tool. Now that's electric. I remember my father's father talking about going to the dentist in the 1930s and it was a foot pump. Anybody remember that? Anybody old enough? The dentist would pump the drill with his foot. Can you imagine? That's what my grandfather told me. Uh, he was born in 1915. Oh, I would not want to go to the dentist in 1915, would you? Look at the old silver tone made by Sears and Roebuck. Now here are the, these are the stations that you get here. These are all Philadelphia stations. They were back then. Uh, there's KYW News Radio. That's still on the air. WIBG, WIP, that might still be on the air. WFIL, stations I remember when I was a boy. Uh, back up and let me see that old radio. It's kind of neat. Big old floor model. All right. Vinny is up at the counter, and he's they're still wrapping his items. So I'm just killing a little time. Scrolling around, scrolling around, strolling around. here okay I think that does it well as Annie Lennox sings sweet dreams we're gonna wrap it up Vinny what? <laughs> wait a minute All right now turn the radio down okay you can see from sun up until sundown we don't stop until until you drop it like it's hot we're on our way home now. We have been shopping, shopping. Yeah, we're gonna go do invoices and uh, eat a slice of something and broadcast. Ooh!